Hello guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray hunting video. Today we are going to two CEX stores um, that are about half hour distance from where I live. Yes, two CEX stores today. Uh, one at Merthyr and one at pont Prive is where we're going. I'm also bringing back the boxes today. We're going to be picking out our type. And we're actually going to be doing a proper Blu-ray hunt uh, at both CEX stores. So really looking forward to get back into this. The first video is back like I did a couple of weeks back now has done fantastic. At the point of filming this now I'm filming all of these before I'm on holidays and this has been released uh, the day that I'm actually going to be on holidays. So um, yeah I'm on holidays uh, which is good. Nice to be relaxed but you know a lot of stuff to do because I want to make sure that I constantly am uploading when I'm away and um, there's stuff out there for people to watch because I've had enough of a break do you know what I mean in terms of YouTube. So making sure I make content. There's a Blu-ray hunting video this week and it's also going to be a Blu-ray hunting video next week which is going to feature it's probably going to be Cumbran because I think Cardiff's going to be really difficult for me to get to uh, this week and stuff but I'm really excited to get to Cardiff because the new HMV has actually opened up I haven't been there yet so uh, it's been a bit of a while but that's probably going to be now sometime in October when I get back from holidays um, but you know also it would be good because I would have been paid by then again so I can uh, go there post payday and yeah have fun Anyways, we're going to pont a -Prix first and then we're going to go to Merthyr afterwards. I am working uh, from home today, so currently filming this on my lunch, just so that when I finish at four, I can literally just leave. And I've got an hour and a half to get to the two places, um, do the two hands before both stores close. So, fingers crossed I do it. Hopefully, I'll definitely get to one store, but I'm hoping I can get to the two stores. Fingers crossed. So, let's first pick out the hat and the type. Um, I did have some from before, which I've just put on the side because I've done these recently, I guess before um we've still got plenty in here though to go through so i'm gonna stick with that so we're gonna pick two types uh from this box and um this is gonna tell us what type of movies we're gonna be looking to pick up and i have to pick up at least one of course is the rules so the first one is christopher nolan a Christopher Nolan title. That's going to be quite difficult because I think I got the majority of his movies. There may only be one or two that I haven't got. So I may have to do some research on that beforehand to figure out exactly what film um, I'm potentially missing or anything. I've got like Memento. I've got the, um, the the Magician one, which I haven't seen yet. I can't remember what that's called though. It's up there somewhere. Um, yeah, I've got that one. I've got obviously all the Dark Knight stuff and all that. Um, Inception and all that. Yeah, I've got all those. So I have to check what ones I'm missing. So maybe... Probably one of his first ones, maybe. So yeah, we've got Christopher Nolan there. And now we'll go again for the second one. And we'll hope and pray. Here we go. And this one is a Spielberg movie. So a double director one. Either a Spielberg film or a Christopher Nolan film. Well, I definitely need more Spielberg movies than I do Christopher Nolan films, I think. So we'll have to find out which ones I'm missing because I've got quite a few but at the same time you know it's always good to hunt for one of those so that'll be interesting I guess because they're both directors I'm just going to pick another one out because you know it's, it's very much the same otherwise let's just pick a third one out just because it's the exact same uh, and this one is a slip cover so something with a slip cover as well is just fine. okay that's fine that's fine so Christopher Nolan Steven Spielberg or a slip cover I can live with that I can live with that I just felt like the Christopher Nolan one, there may only be like one movie and it's going to be very difficult, especially because I'm not in HMV, so yeah. Anyways though, let's uh, let's just pick out now the maximum pickups we're going to do. Now I'm going to pick maximum pickups per store, so whatever I get, it means I can get so many items from each store. So uh, here we go. So we can pick up... Oh, I've had to, oh this is the two, yeah, because I actually did loads of threes and not two, so two pickups. So that means two pickups from either store, so that's a maximum of four movies. So that's going to be very difficult because obviously you don't want to go to one store and then like you see a ton of stuff and then the next store I could see nothing. That's just how CEX is. So yeah, two in each store, that's fine, I can do that. Um, although I'm not really, not really going to be like torn to that because I literally bought how many movies this month? Five. Uh, and we're on the 13th and I've got next week as well. So I'm going to not buy many this month anyway. So, you know, I might as well just... We'll ignore that one, maybe. So, yeah, there we go, guys. Let's get in the car now. Well, obviously, I'm on lunch. Once I finish my my working day here now, I'm going to be literally just getting straight in the car, and I will see you guys at pont where we're going to be going into CEX. Okay, then, so here I am in Merthyr. I actually didn't go to pont -Prive. We ain't going to pont -Prive. It is an absolute nightmare to get into pont -Prive. It's like chaotic traffic. Um, but, yeah, I'm here in Merthyr. I have to use the big camera today. Like, I'm filming on this thing. If I can 
show you guys. There it is. Yep. I have to take this big camera because I have no phone with me right now. I haven't got a phone, uh, which is what I normally use to film. So, yeah. So, let's head over to CEX. I've also got some stuff to send out in the post. But let's head over to CEX and see what we can find here in Merthyr. Okay, then. First door we go into here is Regenerate. Uh, plenty of selection here. There's a few movies. Blu-rays at the top. Uh, I can see there. Gandhi, 27 Dresses. Uh, not to mention here uh, the Batman the long Halloween. This is part two doesn't come with a slip cover But you know it is there. Uh, we've also got a steelbook for far from home just for the standard blu-ray This is uh, got the J card as well and you can see there the price $8.99 Not too bad I guess if you're looking for this steelbook. Uh, we've also got some 4k here We've got the predator uh, on 4k with a slip cover uh, looks pretty good condition and this is coming in at $6.99 uh, for that movie uh, also got saw the legacy collection which is basically well pretty much a lot of them it doesn't say a price on this one but it goes all the way up to jigsaw so i think this is actually the latest or the, the latest box set of all the movies um but yeah that's pretty nice no price though and then a steelbook as well for the seventh season of the walking dead that is there for 19.99 um yeah i've never seen this show i really want to check it out at some point and then we've got chucky then this is season one in the box set uh average condition and there it is 19.99 here at regenerate so uh, yeah it's got the booklet and everything and the lenticular uh, cover let's head over to cex so now um you know it's really end of the day uh, shopping day wise so it's really quiet here uh through 4ks we've got the town there for eight pound we've got eight pound there for the accountant as well also the arrow video crash uh, is here i think this was here before 15 pound for the 1995 uh movie there by david cronenberg also got the double pack of jurassic world this is for the first two movies for eight pound um no slip on that one though and then we've got the batman then there as well for 25 pounds uh no slip on that one as well so yeah a few 4ks there nice to see Next then we've got Burlesque, which is uh, Stavon Shea and Christina Aguilera. Uh, it's got a slip on this one as well. This would be a movie that Hannah would absolutely love to see if she hasn't already seen it before. She loves both of these and she loves all Burlesque and stuff like that. Uh, we've also got Batwoman here. This is the first season. Uh, comes in a nice like slide box thing. Um, and this is also for £6. Um, looks pretty good condition and it's got some nice uh, spot gloss on the front there for that. Another 4K, but that's actually hidden, not in the 4K section. This is for The Northman. £22 with a slip cover. I would have definitely bought this is if this was around like 15 16 but no i've also got another one here for sonic 2 20 pound which i think is currently still on offer at 15 pounds on amazon uk but yeah here it is here in kex they've also got the wizard of oz in 3d for 12 pounds so i'm assuming this could be a rare uh, a rare find maybe out of print um but yeah you know 12 pound with the nice lenticular front as well we've also got some other movies here house of whipcord for 10 pounds which caught my eye i've got hairspray there home alone as well is there for two pound fifty time to buy your christmas films is now because the price is going to be still low i've also got the host year uh, for three pound looks a bit like a shark type of movie i believe um but yeah there's another movie and then finally, we've got the Handmaiden uh, Special Edition, £8. This is a uh, Curzon uh, Artificial Eye. Um, yeah, never heard of this, but the artwork in the box really caught my eye. Uh, looks like a pretty good deal for £8 for like this type of package. I think you get the booklet inside as well. So, yeah. Back home then, guys. Back home. Back home. Right. We have some pickups from CEX. Only the one store that we could go to today because, well, like I said... To get into uh, pont de -Prive was chaotic, mentally chaotic. But not in because I drove there and then turned round basically. But it is what it is because, as I say, it's it was mental, and I would have I wouldn't have got in there in enough time, and then I wouldn't have done murder. And yeah, should have thought about it really, but it is what it is. So, movie wise, then what did we pick up? We picked up no Christopher Nolan movie. No Steven Spielberg movie and no slipcover. So I completely failed at the challenge. <laughs> but I did look at every single title um, and it made me find one of these ones here which I picked up because, uh, yeah, I was looking, as I say, really, really looking for um, Christopher Nolan, Spielberg, and I couldn't find anything. I actually found a Tarantino movie that I don't have. So, you know, weigh it up. That is the first movie though. We always go from lowest to highest price. And I had four Blu-ray pickups today. Not much 4Ks there. There was a few on sale. But I think when I looked online earlier, there was more 4Ks in Pont-Prive. 
And also, Newport Store has 200 or over 200 4K titles there when I check. So, uh, yeah, that's actually like I work in Newport Town Centre, so I'm definitely going there tomorrow and uh, maybe I'll make a list of things to check out. But that's going to be next Monday's video because I'm filming that now after this. Uh, so, stay tuned for that Blu ray hunt coming soon. Anyhow, we have got our four titles here though. The first one is £1.50 and it is the Quentin Tarantino movie that I was on about. And this is called Man with. The Iron Fists. It says at the top there, Quentin Tarantino presents. Now, I haven't got a phone. I'm actually using an iPhone 4 right now, which, yeah, blast from the past. It literally just answers phone calls for me. It doesn't... It connects to the internet, but I'm not even going to attempt it because it takes ages. So I couldn't be bothered to look on Wikipedia. But I looked on the back and it just says he, he presents. It doesn't say that he's actually directing it. I'm not sure, but he's involved in this film nonetheless. Uh, the Man with the Iron Fists. This is an 18-rated film. You can see there, it's got some uh, big actors on there. Uh, Russell Crowe. Uh, let me see if I can read this. It's really bad uh, contrast on this. Uh, probably need glasses soon. Yeah, so Russell Crowe has uh, a few, like... Uh, what was the other one? Oh, and Dave Bautista was the one I recognised. So Russell Crowe, Dave Bautista. That's him in the middle there. Yeah, £1.50, but you guys know that I've been getting Kill Bill recently, and I've got a bunch of other Quentin Tarantino movies, so this was a must, really, in terms of him. I need to find out if he does, or this is a directed movie of his, though. So this is really all. I've just been looking online at this film, and I can't find nothing about Quentin Tarantino on this. Like, on his, like, Wikipedia page, like, in terms of what he's done, like, directed-wise, he's not involved with it. Like, yeah, I have no idea. It does say his name at the top there, but I'll have to figure it out. Let me know down below what his involvement is in this, because maybe he's co-directing it or something? I don't know. It is what it is. Next one then we have is three pounds. Uh, this is one starring Antonio Banderas. And you guys know that I've wanted this for a while, like, let's be honest, I, I enjoyed this film. I've seen this multiple times growing up, and um, it stars Anthony Hopkins as well. This is The Mask of Zorro. This is one of my favourite films growing up, and this will definitely be a really good revisited video to do, because this is, I haven't seen this for a very, very long time, and I remember this being fantastic. Three pounds there, really, really uh, enjoyed enjoyed this. I remember, grew, I think I actually dressed up as Zorro um, at some point and I had like the sword and all that when we went hol holidays, you know, and, and stuff. I remember Zorro being like a real, like, I guess, I guess I just loved him. Like, do you mean, I thought he was like a superhero for me at the time. It was before, you know, Spider-Man and all that type of stuff. So for me, it was really like a Superman uh, or a superhero type of thing uh, for me. But yep, stickers come off all really nice there as well. Really like this artwork as well on this one. Really, really do like that. And then we also get some disc art there of all the characters, as well as Antonio Banderas as well. It's actually got Catherine Zeta-Jones in, I believe, as well, is it? Da -da 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 -da. Not too sure. Oh my god, I have just realised something. It's actually on the executive producer's bit. It is done, executive produced by Steven Spielberg. So, just because uh, I didn't realise that. It's not directed by him, but he's the executive producer on there, so... I did the challenge. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, all, all seriousness, really, really good film. If you haven't seen this, I'd check it out. Uh, from 1998, uh, and I will definitely be watching that very, very soon. Because as I say, yeah, love it. Great film. So, moving on then to the next movie. This is a £4 pickup, and I've been looking for this for a while. Like, I've seen this in many, many tattered conditions, great conditions, you know, overpriced, underpriced, whatever. I've seen it, but I've just never, ever bought it, and I thought today is the day. It's good condition, and the price is actually pretty decent. £4 uh, for this movie. This is Midsummer. 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 Never seen this. This is a film I've never seen. And I've been part of this blue tube community now. I have seen many people say very, very good things about this film. Inside it does have two discs. I've got the director's cut here as well as the normal version, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. It's uh, starring Florence Pugh. It's kind of the movie that made her famous, I guess, or put her on the map. And it's also got Will Poultner in there as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. This is going to be, a, hopefully, a good film. Uh, it's got loads of good, like, uh, ratings and stuff on there, of course. And as I say, many people say this is, like, one of their most favourite favorite films ever. And, um, yeah, I've never seen it. So, four quid from 2019. A uh, really, really good pickup, I think. It's mad to think, like, this film seems old. But 2019 was just for COVID. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is mad. 
and oh, we've got a little bit of sticky debris on that one there to, to get off but you know is what it is four quid though for midsummer i'm really pleased with this and i'm really looking forward to uh to checking this out so uh so yeah so there's a three pickup so far we've got another three to go although it is only one case this is a triple pack uh basically three films in one pack uh, and i got it for a fiver so really pleased to get this in i'm just checking if i've actually got any of these i don't think i do i think i was waiting for this pack to come down in price or something let's just check the final one yeah no i haven't got any of these three um great films starring Gerald butler these are i think they've all got different directors or or whatever but either way i've got it here this is olympus has fallen london has fallen and then angel has fallen i know angel has fallen is on 4k which i don't have it but I just thought for fiver, got all three in the in the pack, and it all takes up one case as well. Yeah, really like these films. I haven't seen them for a long time, especially Angel Has Fallen. I think I actually watched Olympus Has Fallen and London Has Fallen at the beginning of lockdown. But yeah, um, I just thought give get this in the collection because I do like these movies. Uh, one thing I did like about this as well is the actual um, uh, Angel Has Fallen one actually comes with a Dolby Atmos track. So it's got Dolby Atmos on that one. The first two movies don't have it because I'm guessing maybe Dolby Atmos wasn't out at the time. <laughs> Potentially. But yep, three discs all inside there. You've got uh, Olympus has fallen, London has fallen, and then Angel has fallen there. So uh, really, really, really good movies. I uh, re recommend them all. Maybe I could uh, rewatch them again at some point and do a ranking of them. But they're definitely something I'd like to have in my collection because they're good films. I really like them. And yeah. So technically, there are six movies, even though there's three in one, uh, but four cases here. So of course, you've got the is it Quentin Tarantino? Is it not movie? Not too sure about this one. We've got The Mask of Zorro then for three pound. I'm really looking forward to doing a revisit of this movie. And then of course, then we've got Midsommar, which is the movie starring Florence Pugh. Um, yeah, looking forward to checking that out. It's a an era defining masterpiece apparently according to this. So looking forward to that. And then finally, then we got our triple pack there of Olympus Has Fallen, London Has Fallen, and then of course Angel Has Fallen. So all very, very good pickups, I'd say, just for going to one CEX store, especially Merthyr. Like Merthyr, if you don't know anything about South Wales, Merthyr is like a town. Like it's very, very small. You only go to that keg score if you live there. Like there's no tourists going to Merthyr. Um, <laughs> there's none, let me tell you. There's absolutely none going to Merthyr. Um, so whatever's there, really, I kind of got to give it a good couple of months because... You know, it's in this pond pretty really, it's just a town, I mean, whereas Cardiff, you're going to get a lot more footfall, a lot more things being traded in, just from people visiting Cardiff, obviously, and stuff like that, so, so yeah, it's a lot more going on in those places, um, I guess Cumbran could be the same as pond even there as well, but it is what it is, four good pickups, I'm really happy with these, it actually, like, takes me up now to, like, nine pickups for the month, and then, of course, we've got to go now, uh, in the week to HMV, as well, as um, CEX now at the end of the week. We've got to go and check out that Newport store. 207, I think it was, 205 4K titles there. So I need to get online now, write a list ready for tomorrow. And then when I'm in work on my lunch tomorrow, I need to go and check it out because there's Blu-rays to be had and I need to pounce. But there it is, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys appreciate the effort that I'm actually filming these in advance just to get some content out there. I'm really thankful for all the support that you guys have given me recently and I kind of want to give something back and make sure there's content out there all the time now because people are starting to watch the videos again. I'm also catching up on all my like theatrical releases as well. A little bit of an annoyance that I'm away because I'm missing certain theatrical releases like Don't Worry Darling and I think the Blonde movie um, with Marilyn Monroe. So they're going to be in next month's you know reviews. So I'm still catching up just because life's happening and there's things going on um, but I'm really pleased with like how the channel's performing and, and all of that. If you are also into like Apple videos and stuff like obviously I'm using this phone right now but I am getting a new phone the iPhone 14 Pro Max which I'll be using to film my videos um, but I'm also doing Apple videos and I have been doing Apple videos on that channel for a good couple of years even before this one so if you do like that type of stuff then you can follow me over there and I also have a vlog channel which at the end of every video it props up all the channels so if you want to go and check out my vlogs as well which I will be uploading some holiday vlogs when I get back from holidays um, there's more stuff more content on three different channels if you are interested then there's three channels there to uh, to get involved with you're obviously you so maybe you like the other two you know you never know so thanks guys for the support thanks so much for watching and of course stay tuned for more videos coming soon there's reviews coming out all week and of course another blu-ray hunting video coming next Monday thanks guys I'll see you in the next one goodbye